So welcome back to my channel. Once again, we are down at the London Film Festival. It's Boys on Film. Raj is here. Hey, Phil. And we are doing lots of movie reviews. Yes. Some films that you've seen that I haven't and vice versa. But that's the great thing about uh, the film festivals we go together. We can't see everything together because yes. the schedule is crazy. And I've written some reviews online at filmmarriott.net and obviously you've covered some stuff on your website, yep. which is eqmusicblog.com. And they've just started drilling yeah. outside Odeon. Perfect timing. So Raj, you've seen a film last night that I haven't seen. Yes, it's called Sauvage. Uh, it is a story about uh, a French male prostitute. Uh, and it's really just a, a very interesting sort of biopic about his, his life. It's very interesting. He's a very deep and emotional character, but you don't know his name. You don't know his history. You don't know where he came from. Oh, the intrigue. Yeah, it's very... Uh, the only thing you know is that he has a lot of love in his heart, and he's searching for something, but he doesn't quite know what it is. Like um, us all. Yes. <laughs> um, can relate. <laughs> yes. So the interesting thing about this film is the director really wanted to make a film that had no judgment about... Uh, the character. No judgment on his drug addiction, no judgment on his bad choices, no judgment about him being homeless. It just really wanted to tell the viewer, show the viewer a bit of the character's life. And without let the audience judgment. make up their mind. Yeah, and you know, you know, there's a bit where he's at the hospital and the doctors are telling him, well, don't you want to get off drugs? And the guy's like, why would I want to do that? You know, and yeah. it's just very matter of fact, like, this is his life, and this is what he's he's comfortable with, and he you know he's happy sleeping in the forest, you know, on the dirt, and you know when his life starts to take a bit of a turn for the better, he finds a he finds someone to help take care of him. He kind of wants to run away from it. So, but you know what? I think that's great because you know a, a director would let the audience make up their own minds and also people can relate to that because it feels yeah. more genuine it feels more real doesn't yeah, it yeah definitely and probably some of the most graphic sexual scenes I've ever seen in any movie oh, so really? yeah okay so we've had to move because they're drilling outside the Odeon and it's causing a bit of a distraction yeah we're not in your like little quiet studio today no Phil. we're not we're not we're out and about in London right in the in the thick of it yeah we're gonna have to keep doing it this way because we've got so many films to see so oh, little time yeah so yeah if we want to get our filming done it's got to be uh, reviews like this it's gonna be a bit warts and all bit yeah. gritty yeah but uh, going back to Savage yeah this film is quite graphic sexually um, very titillating it's probably the most hardcore gay sex scenes I've seen in any movie. I really enjoyed the characterization overall and the director really spent two years of his life just delving into the world of male prostitution so it's kind of very unique takes on a on a story because the director actually wanted to live the story as well and get to know um, get to know these prostitutes and tell their story in a real sort of way instead yeah. of what he thought the story was. He actually ditched most of his original script that he wrote for the movie because once he sat down and interviewed and lived with uh, some of these male prostitutes, they told him really how it is. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think if you're going to go to those lengths, I think it's bound to be a better film as well because it's all part of the learning process, isn't it? It's a learning curve. Absolutely. And uh, one of the more powerful things that I took away from the film was that the two sort of lead characters... Um, you know, they fall in love with, well, they fall in love with each other and one of them ends up going and, you know, getting with an old man and he's like, you know, that's how he sees his life, like that's the best option for his life and he keeps telling the lead character, go find yourself an old guy because this is the only best option for people like us. And I thought that was really sad and, um, yeah, and the film kind of explores that a little bit. Um, but yeah, probably you wouldn't actually get that sort of story unless you actually were, you know, squatting with the prostitutes yeah. and hanging out in the places that they were hanging out and learning, you know, time, learning from their com little community as well. So it's just little things like that that made the that made the uh, the movie really good in my opinion. And you were saying it's released by Peccadillo Pictures as well. Who it is, yeah. have such a brilliant back catalogue of films. I mean, a lot of those films are quite racy too, but it's probably yeah, the most... Yeah, no, I'm telling you, Phil, this film is pretty racy. There are some <laughs> X-rated scenes in it. It's very titillating. Very, so, very titillating. Star rating? <laughs> um, I'd give it a 3.5, actually. Um, 
I don't know if I could watch Are it you again. Going down the point thing again. Uh, going down the point. Oh, route. do you not like it when I do that? <laughs> three or four, or three point five. Okay, if it, it was between a three and a four, it'd be a three. But if I, it was like a point system, yeah, it'd be a three point five. Raj does love his points. I do because I feel like it's more accurate that way. Like three is just meh. Four is like it's good. There's got to be gives something you, in between. Gives you more control though. Exactly. Makes you, makes you decide. Exactly. One or the other. So uh, if you're into gay cinema like Phil and I are, uh, check Savage out when it uh, comes out on the downloads. I just love to say it, Savage. 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 Yeah. Is it savage for French? It I must think be. It might, must be. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the film is pretty savage. I so. did German at school, so there you go. And I can't even speak German now. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Check out the trailer uh, when it comes out on. Uh, on on demand download or wherever however you get your movies definitely make sure you check it out and make sure you subscribe because we'll bring you so many reviews of films here at the london film festival it has been brilliant this year and we've got many more to come subscribe see you next time and don't forget to subscribe to wow presents (laughs) (laughs) and pause (laughs) the director really wanted to make a film that was And so the interesting thing about this phone, oh God, it's even like louder. louder. <laughs> there is a lot of graphic sexual scenes in this movie, and probably. In- <laughs> so, very titillating this movie. If you, yeah, very titillating. Okay, we have to move somewhere. <laughs>